Hi everybody and welcome to Granny J Clay today. Before I begin my clay video, I just wanted to uh, bring some attention and I'm sure you already are um, quite well aware of what's happening in Texas, but um, I don't know, it just didn't seem as important today to do a clay video as to um, when you compare it to what's happening down in Texas. I have a, a, a sister who lives in the Houston area. I um, also have a nephew and his family that live in that area um, and a niece and her family that live in the area. So I am definitely praying for that area as well as all the other areas that have been affected by the hurricane. And it's just so sad to see. And so we need to continue to pray for them and uh, do what we can in any way possible to help. Okay, I just... Uh, wanted to begin my video that way. Um, I did want to show you something today. I wanted to share with you what I have done in on clay in regard to acrylic paints. And I showed this in, in my video yesterday. Here are some pieces, and I'm, I'm going to hold that up a little closer. Um, this particular piece of clay, I believe this, I used Primo. Um, and it was Primo Pearl and Primo Black on the back, but um, I used acrylic paint on the clay. I rolled it out um, on a zero, which on my Atlas 180 is the widest. And then I, I made the marks, and I will show you how I made them with some caps and some other things. So let me just show you that today. So that's one. Um, here's another one. I'll put these aside, but... Um, they were fun to do and I, so I, th I just thought I would show you that technique today and I also showed you this on my video from yesterday that I had done some carving and also I had done some acrylic on that side and I just put them together so let me just show you that technique and here's one more quickly I want to also show you this before I made this video I made this one and I am waiting for it to completely dry and I hope by the toward the end of this video I can roll it through my pasta machine for you and show you how I stretch it out. Now on this particular one I chose to use uh, this purple and this is just cheap craft smart acrylic paint and this one is called Ocean Breeze which is that's rather interesting isn't it uh, but it's a green blue uh, considering what's happening down in Texas. And then I just decided I'm going to throw a little bit of the uh, Elmer's glitter on there and see how that works too. So this is just an experiment and I will show you uh, in a little bit how that turns out. But right now um, I was going to show you some of the things that I use. These are the lids that I use. I went and took some of these lids off of some of the things. Toothpaste, chapstick, uh, what was this? Oh, um, this was a uh, water resistant uh, sort of a chapstick. And I just took these lids off of different things to use. And I also have these foam um, pieces that I bought at Michael's. They come like this. And I think I've shown that to you. They're very cheap, um, just very lightweight. And they're easy to cut, which is kind of fun because what I did was I cut them and I used the ends uh, like that one that's a sort of a half a moon but these were also little pieces that I cut and just used the ends to make some different markings on the clay so I'm going to start off when oh, I also used one of these this is a makeup sponge these are very soft and very pliable so whatever you have on hand, I would suggest that you use that. And I also have this stick that I has a little bit of a foam on the end of it. And you can tell it's a little bit purple because I've used that as well. And you can get those. Um, this is a 5 eighths, 5 eighths inch one. And that's a Craft Smart one. You can get those at Michael's. I'm sure you can get them at Hobby Lobby too. So whatever you have on hand, just try to use that. Um, now this one, I did not use any paint on the background. Uh, I used white clay, white Primo clay, rolled it out on uh, my highest or my widest setting, zero. But this particular one, I'm going to use some paint in the background, and let's just see how that works, okay? 
for this one, I think I'm going to use, um, this is called bright blue. So what I do is I just shake it, squirt it right on my um, surface here. I have a wipe handy in case I need it. And then I just dab, 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 kind of get some of it off. And I just start going like that. And there is a technique out there where you can do this um, as well. But I just want a little bit on the background. That's all I wanted to do. So back and forth. It doesn't need to be dark. And it can be streaked. If you want it to be streaked. Um, let's see, I need a little more on this end here. Because we're going to come in and put some um, paint over that. Now I'm going to use some black. And I'm just going to determine as I go what I want. I didn't shake that. What I want to use um, on here. I love the purple, so I for sure will use the purple. And I do like some black too, and we can overlap a little bit as well. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'll turn it this way a little way so you can see it a little bit better, perhaps. And, um,. You know what I think I'll do? I think I'm going to start out with one of these. Let's see if that one's clean on that bottom. And what I do, it, it, because it gets so thick on there, is I just go ahead and... This is glass, so it's not a big deal. It'll wash off later. Pick up some more, and then I'm going to go just here and there with the black. I like a little black to show up. And once you let this dry, you run it through the pasta machine anyway, and um, it's going to show some crackling when you do that. Okay, let's see, where's my purple? There's my purple. Let's see what we can do with the purple here. And those of you that are bothered by the mess, don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. All right, now I'm gonna use this little plunger with some purple. And the more paint you leave on the plunger, the more paint you get in your circle. But I kind of like to have, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it leaves a rim around that if you kind of get a little of the paint off. And yes, I am overlapping. And this is a little darker, so I'm going to bring in more there. Here, here, here. And let's see, maybe one there, maybe one right there. All right, so that's the purple. And like I said, I'll clean this up later. And I am going to use some Ocean Breeze also, I think, for this. And we'll see how that looks. Um, you can just pick whatever you want to do. I'm going to pick up now one of my lids, one of my caps, and I'm just going to dab it in here so it just gets the outside of the lid, as you can see, and go like that. Isn't that pretty? So you just want to kind of make your own design of it and overlap, and then you want to make sure when you are done that you leave this alone until it's completely dry. It really doesn't take very long to dry at all. Okay, maybe one more right there. Whoops, and I just dragged it right over, didn't I? That's not good. Well, now it's going to be in the design. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave that one there. And then I'm going, let's see, what other color did I want to get? Oh, you know what? I was going to get white. Didn't bring it over. Let me grab it really quick. I'll be right back. I'm not going far. So let me just grab my white and put that right here. And then I'm going to come in with a smaller cap. This is my chapstick cap. I'm going to go like that. Now remember, this is all going to stretch once you run it through the pasta machine it will stretch out. So 
don't even if you make an error like that where that uh, paint kind of streaked across don't worry about it it's not that big a deal it's going to stretch out and nobody's going to know it was there in the first place okay maybe one more right there well, maybe one more here I like the white um, let's see maybe right there and there and there Ooh, and there all right for now I think that's pretty good so that's all you do is you just take a piece of clay depending on uh, you know the size piece you want eventually this will be a piece of laminate that you can put over things um, or if you just want to uh, like I did roll out a piece of black clay and put it over that and then once this is dry of course and stretched out um, you can just put the clay on it and uh, let me just wipe some of this off while I'm at it you're really seeing me being very klutzy today but I you know when I first started making videos I said you'd get me in the rough or in the raw <laughs> that's exactly what you're getting today so that's what I do um, I'm going to move all of this aside and grab one of my tiles to put some of this on so we can um, continue and I can roll out I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to put it here don't you think that's kind of pretty of course you could let it dry this way and just use it this way instead of stretching it out um, you know you're more than welcome to do that but I'm going to bring my other one in here and wipe this off a little bit and see if we can't stretch it out for you so you can see what that looks like um, this is fun to do any time of the year you could you could do it for Christmas you could use reds silvers greens golds wouldn't that be pretty you could make Christmas ornaments I've got all kinds of things in mind that I do want to do so we'll wait and see how that all shakes out I am really not having a, a very good day here. <laughs> I'm getting things all over the place. Help! While I'm doing this, I'm going to mention another YouTuber. There is a sweet little girl out there by the name of Allie Kate. And she does um, YouTube videos. And she is a fashionista. She's a young girl, young girl, and her daddy helps her. And uh, she'll show you how to apply makeup. She'll even show you her drawings. She is a sweetheart. So if you get just a minute to watch Fashion Date with Allie Kate, and it's A-L-Y-K-A-T-E, then you just need to do it. You'll have fun watching her. She's, she's just precious. All right. I think I'm cleaned up now. And I'm going to bring this one in. And it appears that it's dry. So what I'm going to do is roll it. And I'm first going to roll it on a 1, which is my second to largest setting. And as you can see, that didn't do too much, although it did spread it a little bit. Just my camera here a little. Now I'm going to set it to a 2. See what we get with the 2. See if I like that. You know what I'm noticing is that the glue isn't allowing it to go as far as it should go. I'm going to run it in this way on a number three. On the, I ran it this way. Now I'm going to run it this way. We'll see what that does. Ooh, yes, I like that. It's crinkly, but it I can roll it out, I think. All right, let me just take this. And take my roller. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty. That is pretty. And, you know, the nice thing about this is that if you want to add more as you go, you can. But this will roll out flat, even though right now it looks a little bit bumpy in parts. But um, I don't know if you like that better, or do you like it when it has a background better? I painted the blue in on that. Um, I guess I kind of like both of them. 
So that's what I have done just lately. I've just been playing with the, uh, my acrylics. This is the first time I tried the uh, Elmer's Glue Glitter. I don't know if I'll do that again. <laughs> it adds a little sparkle, but I'm not sure I like it. I'm not sure I like it. I'm going to take it down maybe even one more and see if I can stretch it one more time. Okay. There we go. Yeah. That would work, but I actually think when I'm off camera, I'm going to add maybe something else to it. It needs a pop of something. I think I need some a little bit of black in there, here and there. And then I'm going to stretch it again. So that's what I wanted to show you today. Thank you for st sticking with me, even though I've made some blunders throughout the video today. <clears throat> I hope you're having a good day today. Please, please don't forget to pray for those who do are down in Texas. And if, uh, if you think about it, please pray for my sister Vicki um, and her family, her daughter Maria, her son Stephen and their families, um, and just for everyone everyone that's in the path of this storm and and especially I think for those who have already suffered great loss um, I have not heard of anyone passing away and I'm I'm praying that nobody has I just know people have lost their homes and a lot of people right now are, are um, out of electricity etc so we need to continue to pray for them and do what we can to help them out all right have a great afternoon and I will see you soon bye bye